Hello YouTube, it's your best friend Bethany and today I'm going to share with you guys some easy and some of my favorite meals that I have during a work week from home. I am remote and I thought it'd be kind of a fun, easy video to show you guys some of the things that I eat throughout the week when I am working from home, which is every week. Um, but yeah, I you know when you work from home, you spend a lot of time at home. Um, but it doesn't mean you have a lot of time to just cook. If you're really you know using your time how you're supposed to when you're you know working a nine to five, you're working nine to five. And if you're like me and your company is actually based on the West Coast. You know, that could be a little bit different, but I'm a morning person, so I do like to still start at nine, and then sometimes maybe I have to work till seven, have longer breaks in the middle, um, based on when I have meeting times in the evening. But last week I was sick, and I did um, get some uh, groceries from Trader Joe's. I was gonna do a Trader Joe's haul, but I just was not feeling well enough. So I will be doing another one of those. I did see that, that last video, that last Trader Joe's haul, um, you guys really enjoyed so I will be doing another one but this week I'm just gonna share some meals um, hopefully some of it gets you inspired for you know meals when you're working from home or if you work from home like part of the time like if you're in a hybrid position uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoy the video and definitely subscribe if you enjoy this content leave comments down below if you want you know if you have some other ideas and um, yeah let's do it <laughs> I got this kit from Amazon to do dip nails at home. Um, as you can tell, not the best first try, but it's they're thick. They feel like they're gonna stay. Uh, I will let you guys know, but um, if I can make this look better next time, this is gonna be pretty cool. And it came with all of these colors. My goal is to stop getting my nails done as much, so this should be helpful. This does not look the best. And my nails also broke when I took off um, what was on there before so I need to do this side next but I'm hoping that it lasts pretty well okay so the next meal is not very interesting um, I meal prepped some lemon chicken parmesan uh, pasta and so I'm going to heat up some of that but I basically what I did with that is I cooked onions um, and I already had shredded chicken and I cooked them in butter and then I added some almond milk and I melted the Parmesan cheese in that and seasoned it with different things like tarragon, um, lemon juice, um, salt and pepper and then a little bit of um, vegetable bouillon which is like a broth base and then um, once it thickened I added the spaghetti noodles into it and so I meal prepped that and I had a little yesterday, it was really good, and if you're someone who likes pasta um, as a leftover, because I feel like people either love pasta as a leftover or they hate it, not really much in between, but if you're okay with heated up pasta, which I love um, pasta leftovers, like I think it like absorbs some of the flavor more and everything, um, 
then I definitely think making a huge batch of pasta, especially with a protein in it or um, you know, having a protein in mind that you want to have with it is a really good way to like meal prep during a work week. But yeah, I'm going to make that. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I heat it up. So as you saw, I um, I did make some coffee and it was the last of it. That's been my favorite coffee recently. I did go on a trip with my mom and my sister to Hawaii and that was some of the coffee I had while I was there and I really liked it so I picked up a bag. So now I'll probably pick up um, a bag from an, a local KC place and try to keep it going that way. But I do like um, during the work week to start off with a hot cup of coffee with nothing in it and then um, at noon is when I'm trying to, you know, like have calories and, and start eating and everything. Not only like as intermittent fasting, but I'm just not much of a like morning eater and morning like uh, digester. So not having milk. So not having milk is a is a good way to do that as well. Using my little dog cup. But um, then I put the rest of the coffee, the whole French press, in the fridge, and then I'll have. Um, an iced coffee with almond milk later. Okay, so I am um, done with my morning work. I am gonna make some lunch. I haven't eaten um, food today. I've had coffee. So I am gonna make some avocado toast, but it's gonna be on brown rice cakes. And then, um, I am going to make some of my iced coffee, um, so basically the French press that I put into the fridge. I'll make some um, cold version of my coffee um, with some almond milk and have an apple with that as well. All right, it is already um, 6.30 and I'm feeling kind of like bad. I wanna um, go get uh, like an iced drink, probably not coffee because it's so late in the day, but I'm thinking maybe like matcha and then like a croissant, it sounds so good. So I'm gonna go walk over to this um, 
this cafe uh, made in KC. It's right near my building, um, downtown, downtown Kansas City. Super cute, um, and I'm gonna pick up that. And then also, since you guys saw earlier, I ran out of coffee, I'll pick up some ground um, coffee from them as well. But I'm thinking I will get a drink and then a pastry. Uh, this shirt is from Old Navy. I've had it for a couple years now. Built-in bra, everything. Uh, this is a Amazon white skirt. These are some Dick's Sporting Goods slides. I just got my purse, and then um, I just tied this little scarf on it. Um, it's from Ross. Nothing expensive, but yep. Okay, a little bit of a fail because they didn't have any ground coffee. <laughs> which I've never gone there and them not have their coffee. There was like a weird, there was like a few, like not weird, but bags that I didn't know of coffee in the back. And I guess I could have asked them to ground those, but I just, you know, I wanted to get one from them. Um, so I didn't get coffee this time. Um, so I will not have coffee tomorrow or the rest of the week, probably until I go get some more. But I did get some matcha. And then I did get a blueberry muffin. So there's my little, treat for the day probably for the week actually but yeah and of course I almost dropped this all because there was a cute boy in the elevator that's just me I can't function but okay gonna eat this drink this and you know get get going on the rest of my evening Alright, it is another um, work morning in my life. I went on a six and a half mile run this morning. It's the first one I've done since I um, got COVID and so no it wasn't my best but I already feel better than when I ran the day before I realized I had COVID and I like I did like eight and a half miles but I felt like death so already that I felt better for this run makes me feel good and I'll just like slowly build up my my lung, um, my lung capacity for running again, and also just like the mentality behind long distance running, I just need to build that back up. Um, but since I did run, I'm definitely gonna eat before noon today. I think I'm gonna make a protein smoothie. Um, if I look a little damp, I just took a shower. Um, but very comfortable wearing this Princess Polly dress. Um, it's super great for hot weather. It's not the most flattering on my figure. I don't really care, it's comfortable, I think it's cute. Um, but I think something I'm gonna do is I am gonna film like a, a hot weather dates outfit because I've gone on some dates recently and I'm someone who loves layers and so I've been like struggling to find outfits that I like on my body for like super hot weather, like 90s and up and super humid. So I think I'm gonna share some of those um, this weekend as I go on some dates and film some outfit ideas of what I would wear on dates and um, show you guys because like I it's like super hot and I know that a lot of places are being hit by a heat wave this year So I think I'll share that but I'm gonna make a smoothie. Let's do it <laughs>
it's later in the afternoon. It's, um, what time is it? Uh, it is 3.12. Um, I did finish my chicken pasta uh, meal prep that I did. And so I kind of want to, um, you know, make something for this evening. But I also want to make a bigger batch of it so that I have some for tomorrow. And then I will also eat it um, during the weekend. Um, today is Thursday. Uh, but I will take you along with me. I'm planning on creating some kind of chickpea garbanzo bean um salad with whatever vegetables i have i know i have i think i have cucumber i think i have onion um and then figure out a dressing for it and then just meal prep that um uh, since i'll get my protein from the beans and i can also have it as a side with chicken later in the week um but tonight i think i'm not gonna have any chicken with it because i did have chicken in my pasta earlier i'm kind of chickened out so <laughs> chickened out <laughs> okay so i'll take you along with me while i make this <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna end the video off here. Um, I hope that some of this was helpful or if it was, it was fun to watch, but uh, I will be getting another video up soon. I think I'm gonna do that video I was talking about with like super hot weather day, day outfit ideas. But yeah, thank you so much. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Leave comments down below of stuff you wanna see, any questions. But yeah, thank you and join the Beth Friend fam. <laughs>